Hello, water signs. It is time for your shadow judgment reading. Yes, I know. I missed November's because I am a lazy bastard, but you know what? I tried. So, <laughs> today we're going to use the Toth deck because fuck it. Okay, that works. Motives. Someone's in fucks. <laughs> Someone is insecure. Who's the first water sign? Cancer. So, this is you, Cancer. Someone's definitely insecure. And over here is a Queen of Wands who is on full-on I'm a beat the shit out of you mode. And here's someone being really emotional with their feelings with the Princess of Cups in the actual accusations, right? Like, someone's being really insecure on this side. And then someone is just being a straight-up bitch over here. Like, she's petting her cat, just looking forward while this person right here... Like, this is, like, present because she's looking forward, right? And so is the kitty. And this person is looking in her direction to the future. Like, I want to offer you this. I want to give you this turtle in a shell. This turtle in a shell is awesome, man. You should try it. And it, it could be you. Uh, Cancer, it could also be a Scorpio or a Pisces. But somebody is definitely wanting to offer something up, right? I don't know why you want to offer this is Queen of Wands, though. Because she's really bitchy. Like, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Like, someone is really bitchy. Like, they're petty. I feel like. They're being petty. They know they're being petty. Maybe this is someone coming to apologize for being petty. Or maybe somebody's apologizing to someone who's become petty in a situation because they're insecure about something. I would reckon it'd be them being petty, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. Like, like someone's being really petty and mean and bitchy. Essentially. For whatever reason it may be. But it's just funny. Because <laughs> it's like, who's being that petty? Because that's like a whole level of like, I'm top bitch, yeah. What else is coming out for the motives? Or, not the motives, the accusations for cancer. My dear, lovely cards of the Toth type. Ew. Someone is not satisfied with how things are going at all. That's the Ten of Cups. Like, their wish came true. Like, okay, Nine is wish fulfillment. This is like dream accomplished to me, maybe a little bit. Or like, everything was achieved. And now you're bored with it. You know? Like, you didn't realize how bored you would get with the situation? Like, someone's super insecure because they didn't realize that, like, a dream was boring? Or are they afraid that a dream will get boring? Like, they know what's gonna happen and that's why they're apologizing? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, wow, like... Like, someone's being insecure. They're not sad and, and like... Are they insecure about it... Being boring and and unsatisfying or are they f insecure about it becoming that way or is it becoming that way i mean it could be that too like maybe you're tired of a situation and it's no longer fun to you or it doesn't fulfill your needs oh, 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 oh. okay all right we got over here Ew, Nine of Swords reverse. Someone's in their head. This petty queen, right? Mind you, if someone around you is a fire sign or emulating this fire, or like, you might even have fire in your chart, Cancer. Because it is possible. Um, this could emulate to them too, but this is like someone's really stuck in a monologue in their head about things... Maybe somebody's feeling like a prisoner in their head about an apology because they aren't happy in a situation that's making them insecure. We also got down here with the sun scene. Someone's definitely not happy. Like, look at that sun reversed. Right? Okay, so then we have 
the strength card with the nine of wands keeping guard someone's tired someone is definitely yeah someone's tired someone's got let their i like did someone let their insecurities get to them and they became petty and then they got bored with it and they're tired and now like their brain is just working against them like they're trying to produce something like someone's trying to wait and see on the side with the eight of pentacles virgo energy Someone might be trying to wait and see. Like, they planted their fruit, and now they're just stepping back and being like, okay, like, I'ma just be here for a minute. And then we got a truce with the Four of Swords over that sun reverse, where someone's really not happy. Here's the Prince of Cups on this side. Nor the King of Cups. Once again, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, because uh, it could be all three of you. Could be you, where you're trying to ride in to, like, develop your emotions, or maybe you're just sitting on that bird being, like, all, the only emotions that are important are mine. That could be possible, too. Oh, where'd you go? Come here. And on this side, there is... Um... Victory. Six of Wands. Failure, essentially. Yeah. With some Leo energy in it to boot. Like, utter embarrassment, maybe? Like, someone on this side is insecure about being unhappy. And they're tired of whatever's going on. But it's like... This guy's only focused on the cup he's got in his hand, and that cup has a snake in it. So it's like he's only giving a shit about his emotions, right? Like he's so focused on that cup with the snake in it. Like it'd be different if it was a freaking fish, but no, it's a snake. Now, I know snakes and serpents in like mythology are like, they are actually for wisdom, they teach lessons even though it might be harsh. No, he's a snake. <laughs> He's being kind of snaky, so you be on guard with that, right? Whether it be you or somebody else, it really doesn't matter. Like, someone's being kind of a snake in this. Like, they're kind of only caring about their emotions. Like, they're so busy looking at their own cup, they're not paying attention to the road on their, like, bird chariot thingy, my bobber. Like, the bird's pulling him down, and it's like, he's so busy with his cup, he isn't paying attention to where he's going. You know? Or what he's doing. Either to him or those around him. I should tell my husband to, like, get me food. I'm totally gonna, yeah, I'm totally just gonna get food from his job. Fuck it. I don't care. Oh, no, maybe I'll go to Subway. Sorry, I just thought of food and I got excited. No, I can't eat Subway. I'm pregnant. Fuck. Never mind. Okay, anyway. But yeah, he's really stuck in his emotions to the point where he doesn't pay attention to what he's doing and where he's going, regardless if it bothers him or the people around him, I feel like. like possibly someone who's too engaged with themselves, too self-involved, to notice what they're doing around to others because now here's an apology for, in a really childish way with a princess or a page of cups, right? Because she's not happy with the sun reversed. Her happiness is a downer. Could also be Leo. There's a lot of like Leo energy I'm noticing in this reading. Like, I'm just going to put that out there. There's a lot of fire and it seems like Leo is definitely like there, so maybe someone's Leo in them or some shit. But, like, yeah, someone's definitely not happy. With the, the sun's absolutely reversed. And, Cancer, there you are at the very bottom. I think I'm actually, the last time I used these cards on you, like, I said the exact same thing. You guys are always on the bottom of the sun. <laughs> Which, it probably isn't a bad thing, depending on how far and how not hot that is, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Someone is unhappy. They're offering this apology because they want a truce. They want peace. Four 
of swords. Also means recovery to um, meditate and really think things over to understand a situation. You might even clam up for a little bit about it, right? Because there is a really petty bitch, <laughs> Queen of Wands here, who's being hostile because she's stuck in her head about something and now she's sitting here waiting for something to produce. But, I mean, like, it's like, it's like, sh I don't know if this person thinks being mean is going to bear fruit. You know, like, it's like someone's purposely, and it doesn't have to be female, that's just, it's just somebody being bitchy. It's like someone being dicky, right? And it, and it just seems like someone is taking out their pettiness. Even though there's an apology coming, somebody's being petty because they're stuck in their head about a situation, but they think it's going to produce results. Either because, like, their pettiness has gotten them that before, or they're that stupid. It's it, it, it's either or, right? Like, like, this is shadow of judgment, so, you know, like, we're being judgmental in this bitch, okay? Someone is being petty. Because there's some, because this is cruelty's card, but it's like it's coming back on them. Like the pettier they are, the more these swords bleed onto them. Because it's like the cards upside down. This is bloodstains, and it's going up to this Queen of Wands. And it's like the more she's bitchy and the more she's petty, the more cruelty is dripping back onto her. But she doesn't realize that like. There's not going to be a victory with all of this stuff that she's putting in. Like, she's, like, waiting for something to get ripe in this by being petty. And there's no victory. And this person over here, whoever this is, I don't know what, but, like, their offer, because they're not happy for a truce, isn't going to happen because this person can't stop being a dick. Because they aren't smart enough to realize that being cruel is not going to help with any sort of harvest. All it's going to do is bleed back on you. But that's yours, Cancer. So this is going to be you or anybody you're dealing with or anybody surrounding you in your nearest vicinity. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know what the hell that was, Cancer, but, like, damn. You guys need to get whoever that is. Like, that's not you, and I really hope it's not you. But if that is you, I would really hope you guys would get away from such toxic energy. Let me use that word. But at the same time, though, like... I know some cancers, and y'all can be pretty wicked with your shit. <laughs> like, some of you are really weird to me. Like, there are... Like, I don't know if it's all of y'all, but I have met a certain sect of them where... Like, they have a really hard time apologizing. For when they do anything wrong. And then they actually go out of their way to, um... Get mad at the person for making them feel guilty. And it's like, how does that make any sense? You're upset because someone made you feel bad for your actions. But that's cancer, man. I just, like, I, like, I don't understand them, but then again, I am the father of the Zodiac. And, you know, deals... But anyway, enough with Cancer. It's time for Scorpio, because it's your guys' turn. For your reading of Judgment. So let's see what's going on with you guys, right? So let's see what the motives and everything are. Oh, there's some. Come here. Okay. Oh, someone is like not doing very well with their lusty actions, because someone else can't make a decision, I feel like. One person can't decide some shit, and someone can't control themselves. <laughs> Could be a Leo. Oh, I am so happy today. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm having, like, a really good day. I've been having a really great week. Honestly. But yeah, like... Oh, hell yeah. Motive. The Emperor. Possibly Aries Energy, or someone with some entrepreneurness. Could also be an Aries, but someone's definitely on the move to um, get some shite done, right? Ooh, nice. Then we have someone hanging on at a crossroads. 
And here's someone not really trying to work anything out. They'd rather leave it behind. Because they don't want to work on it. With the Eight of Cups. And then, look at this. We have a... Princess of Wands. King of Discs. Get another one, please, because I'd rather complete this. Oh, there we go. That was nice of you. Thank you. Ooh, Four of Cups. Luxury. Okay, so, so far, here's what we got, right? Get over... God. You do not have to be that s slick. I just want you... Okay, that, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so far, right? Here are the two motives. Like, someone can't restrain themselves properly, or... They are indulging in things a little bit too much, right? And over here, someone isn't really coming to a decision to bring something together. Two of Swords, Peace card. I want to think War. Like, someone won't decide on something. They're battling it out in their head. And then we have someone at a crossroads. Possibly dealing with an emperor or the emperor energy, someone who is um, trying to control, manipulate, um, establish themselves, adapt, and become adapt to their things. I said both of those backwards. Adapt to become adept in their abilities and skills, right? Like, Aries is like, I am, I can do this, they go do it. They, I don't even think that they think of, how, of the, anything they do half the time. I think they just go for it. And it happens. <laughs> and then they're just, like, stuck with it. But that's just me. And then, like, we got somebody over here who doesn't really want to... Like, indolence is, like, from what I looked up in the dictionary, um, inertia, lack of movement. I feel like someone wants to move on because they don't want to work on something. Or something here just doesn't work properly anymore in the emotional scale, right? And then here's a king of discs reverse. Or not a king, the knight of disc reverse, right? With the Princess of Wands reversed and the Four of Cups, which is like, this is luxury. This is like what? Cancer's card? So it's like an overflow of emotion. But this Princess of Wands is sleeping because she don't care. And then this Knight of Discs on this side is like, not even trying to move. They're like, fuck you. That is literally the vibe. Let's see what else is coming up. Can I get like one more card, if not three? Because that'd be rad. Oh, there's one. Ugh. Ten of Swords reversed. Ooh. Are there any probationary periods for Scorpio? There's one. Here's the moon. Is there another one for him? Oh! Both of you. Okay, that's fair. Doot. Doot. Okay. Scorpio. It looks as if someone on this side was indulging in some shit. Definitely Leo's card. A little bit too much. They got too comfortable with their greed, I want to say. And now they're at a crossroads, but it's like, there could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or someone emulating that, of someone who could offer something, but they ain't gonna do it, because they're too involved in, like, trying to figure out their own feelings with shit, right? Which is causing them to feel left out in the cold. It, at, the, at the very essence of this, with the five of... Pentacles reverse. Like, they're definitely worried, but they definitely want to come away from that worry. They don't want to worry anymore. And with that, they definitely want to, like, try to hone their skills out. Or maybe someone's talking about it because the Princess of Wands isn't doing anything. She's just sleeping. 
and it's causing this ruin with the Ten of Swords to be, take way longer to recover from. Like, if there was a, a betrayal in this somewhere, like, someone is not getting over it in a timely manner or in a, in a reasonable time. Like, they're hanging on to it, and, it like, it's the first day it happened. They're being overly dramatic about it. Like, on purpose, right? And then over here is, like, someone not coming to any sort of decision. There's no peace to be made because they're tired of, like, sitting with these eight cups, hoping they'll start working when no one's putting any effort into them and they're just ready to walk away because they have love to give. Four of cups. Which, you know, it, it's like this is all just overflowing with emotions. Showering it even, right? And now someone's planting some seeds and waiting to see whether they should harvest or not in order to get out of the situation with worry. So that's your Scorpio. Yay. Oh, the Lord, it's already been 20 minutes. Crazy me. I didn't think it'd be this long, but I'm going more in detail, too. So I had a long talk with cancer. I, always, I don't know why I always talk to cancer. Eh, oh well. Pisces! Oh, shit. It's your turn. <laughs> Let's see what we have for you, Pisces. Oh. Oh. Someone else is the emperor. And someone over here is be needs to learn a freaking lesson because something failed. Someone was trying to be too much in control. And they need to learn, needed to learn a lesson somewhere. But I don't know if they learned it or not. And over here, if someone was trying to be in control, have that entrepreneur Aries energy. That is Aries' card. But we also have Leah's card, which is just like there was failure somewhere. There was no victory. Like, there might be people actually coming against you for some reason. Pisces. And this person over here, this Aries person, possibly wants a new beginning. Maybe a new sexual charge. Maybe a new sexual adventure. Ooh. Well, this person who still hasn't learned a lesson um, is having a lot of interference, a lot of mental shit going around in their head. You know? Someone is definitely um, having issues concentrating because they have to learn a lesson, and I don't know if they are or not yet. Right? I'll take that one since you were trying. There's a knight of swords just running in to talk some sh Like, the knight of swords is just rolling in with its air and swords just being like, Yaw! Like, look at all those birds with it, too. He's just flying into battle, charging into it, getting it done. Uh, Libra, Sagittarius, Aries. And here's the world. Oh, my goodness. The, or the universe, I'm sorry. Getting ready to... Start a new beginning, I feel like. Oh. And this person is still at a crossroads. Totally two different people here, okay? I'm just pointing that out right now. Totally two different, different people. Oh, look at that. Fiery domination. Definitely an Aries. Card right there. Yeah, yeah. There's its symbol. Yeah, definitely Aries. That domination. Two of Wands. Choosing one world over the other. And I'm definitely going to do probations for this because I want to know what the choices are. Because obviously there's something being done because this is like split. There is a loss of a victory. Now there's a conclusion of a cycle and now we get to see what the paths are. I'm very excited for you, Pisces. Then again, you could be doing the Jekyll and Hyde thing, but I don't know yet. So there's that. But yeah, this is like two very different people. This is like complete opposites. One is in control and the other one is like, has no idea what they're even looking at anymore, if at all. Like they're just, they're at this crossroads and they're confused about what to do, I feel like. Oh, and here is the Trump art or traditionally temperance. Sagittarius is card, but it's reversed. So someone has a lack of patience in this dom 
the minion, this domination with the two of wands. Let's see other choice. Cause that like this is like really distinctly somebody different. Ooh, okay. Or the loss of a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, either a loss of a disappointment or a loss of a really dumb person. <laughs> Which I hate to say, the eight of um, swords makes me feel like they aren't paying attention enough. Like there's too much going on in their own sphere of perception and acknowledgement to see that like they need to learn something i feel like like this is the hierophant this could be taurus like this and, and this could be somebody who's getting excommunicated too by someone who who doesn't want another disappointment since both are reversed you know this person over here they want a new beginning and they're telling you that they're tired of waiting they're tired of waiting for this to happen and they've come to some sort of conclusion or decision about it. Oh my god, I just screwed this all up. Stop. Okay. And because they're tired of waiting for this to get figured out, they're closing the cycle and making a decision. Hey, I'm being impatient. I don't want another disappointment coming up to me because there's still something for you to figure out and you're not doing it yet and you're just hanging around here and I'm, and I'm just really sick of waiting on you right so that is yours Pisces and I'll see you guys on the flip side bye